Well, that's right, Francis, as you correctly pointed out, that uh, proceedings had been adjourned early on Friday. This was uh, due to the ill health of uh, the legal representative uh, representing accused uh, one and two. Her proceedings got underway again this morning. Uh, uh, Sibora Ramosupile, who is uh, representing both of those, uh, indicating as well to continue with the proceedings. And Togozi Sitwala, uh, who is the second witness, was inside the house at the time that Senzo Mayo was killed, uh, still on the stand in cross-examination by Ramosupile. And uh, there were a lot of questions uh, in the, this morning morning cross-examination about the conduct of Twala in the run-up to the incident that had taken place, what happened during and also after. A lot of questions being asked about, you recall, testimony that he gave about Longwe Twala uh, having pushed uh, one of the intruders and managed to flee the house and run away. Uh, questions about uh, when exactly Twala managed to move. Uh, or, or, or try to bump one of uh, the intruders and also run outside the house. And uh, why is it, if indeed that was the sequence of events on that day, uh, why is it that uh, uh, the intruders themselves did not shoot at Longwe Twala? Let's take a listen uh, to some of those questions that were uh, raised in cross-examination to Ntogo Zisi Twala. I'm going to put it to you that this story of Longwe Twala pushing the first thing to the out and running out of the house is not correct. It's not the truth. And what is going on again? No, go up show you go go to Ulongwe Twala or push a donor or call again or slow and I'm cousin with you can name again. I be so coming in it. I ask long I am as the wrong with some learning in so the truth not be in. I don't know if you say it's not the truth, then what is it? I'm, I'm going to demonstrate it. We'll take it bit by bit and arrive at a conclusion that clearly shows there were no intruders in the house. Longwe Twala was there in the house as the shot is fired, but we'll take it step by step. The defense basically trying to point out that uh, the version that uh, Twala is giving is improbable and in that when he also managed to flee the house, he says that he didn't realize uh, that uh, Senzo Meiwa had been shot. At the time that he was fleeing, he said he heard one shot and he says he thinks he heard a second. This is not the first time that we hear him say that, but afterwards he says then he fled uh, to the neighbor's house. He jumped over the gate and fled uh, to the neighbor's house. And it's only on his return when he came back that he found that Senzo Meiwa had been shot. He says he lifted Senzo Meiwa's t-shirt and found that uh, he had been shot uh, towards this direction. That's the direction to which he pointed to and says then uh, at some point they took Senzo Meiwa uh, to the hospital. But there were more questions about why none of the intruders who were clearly armed as per the version of Dumelo Madlala as well as the second witness that was in the house uh, at Ntogo Zichitwala who is still currently on the standing cross-examination. The one was carrying a firearm and the second uh, was carrying uh, what he described as a sharp object, a knife. But then more questions raised about why then would the intruders not do anything to restrain any of them, including Longwe Twala, from leaving the premises. Let's take a listen. Your story further is that the same gunman does not even shoot at Longwe from stopping him from leaving the house. Yes, he didn't shoot him. And your story further is that the second intruder, who you may notice or not notice, but is there, does not even prevent long way. And this intruder is also armed with a knife or an object similar to a knife that is sharp. Yes.